If you've been struggling with life's stickier issues, want to grow in your relationship with God and become everything you were created to be, then you are in the right place. My name is Chris Reese, and if this sounds like something you could benefit from, go ahead and click the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss a thing. Today, we are going to talk about the three truths to remember when you're tired of waiting on God. Have you been waiting on God for so long that you wonder if your not now is turned into a not ever? Well, let me be the first to say, I understand. There are times when my prayers to God sound like a never ending chorus of when God, when and why God, why? And I've never been one to wait well, whether yanking the arm of a screaming toddler that I was babysitting because she didn't move fast enough or lashing out at God for not giving me what I wanted Patience was not something that came natural to me. God had to teach me, and he did so by taking his time. And on my journey, I learned that there are reasons why God makes us wait. And these times of waiting are often opportunities of strengthening and shaping. Which brings me to Isaiah 40, verse 31. And it reads, They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This passage from Isaiah the prophet is providing encouragement to the Jewish exiles in Babylonian captivity. They were desperately awaiting their deliverance from captivity. And when we look at the word wait upon, it means to wait in, in the sense of expecting. Now here it refers to those who were suffering a long and grievous captivity in Babylon and had no prospect of deliverance. And here they were being encouraged to remain faithful to the one true God. You see, for the faithful, there is no failure. Waiting is an inevitable part of life. But most people I talk to would also say that they don't wait well. I think we do wait well. So think of the last thing that you wanted and waited for. Maybe it was in line to get into a sold out concert, or perhaps it was in the waiting room of a very important doctor's appointment, or maybe it was just this morning at Starbucks. Let's face it, we wait well for the things that are important to us. Which prompts me to ask this question, isn't God worth waiting for? God really does want to answer our prayers. So if your requests are being delayed, there's likely a good reason. And if you're in a season of uncertainty and getting impatient with God's timing, my hope is that you would remember these three truths. Truth number one, it will take as long as it takes. I know this can be hard to hear, particularly if you are a go-getter like me. Most of us think there's got to be something I can be doing, but sometimes wait really just means wait. And I don't mean that you should sit back and do nothing. Rather, simply focus on what you know to do and stop fretting over when the payoff is going to come. It will happen when it happens. Truth number two, God will move when he sees that you are ready. If it seems as if nothing is changing, God may be waiting on you. And if he's waiting, it's likely for one of three reasons. One, he's waiting on you to do the last thing he told you to do. And whatever that is, I'm going to encourage you to do it. Number two, he's doing something in you. We all want the promotion, but have to ask ourselves, do we have the character to keep us there? And number three, he's engineering your circumstances. Look, sometimes it's not all about you. In fact, it's sometimes it's not all about us at all. There may be other moving parts that need to be in place. And trust me, you're going to want to wait for all of them to be orchestrated. And truth number three, God is faithful. I believe one of the reasons that we struggle to trust God is because we ourselves can't be trusted. We don't love unconditionally. We don't give sacrificially. But here's the thing. Even when we can't be trusted, God can be trusted. Whatever it is that you are in need of today, God knows, and it is his desire to answer your prayer. Will you remain faithful and trust him? He is worth the wait. 
If you're looking for more, I want to invite you to join in our free five-day Mountain Moving Faith devotional. It's yours free because I believe that you too have mountain moving faith on the inside of you. I will include that link in the description section below. But before we go, I want to pray with you. I want to pray that Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, that you, Father, would come and meet us right where we are. Lord, I pray that you would give us the patience to wait on you. Lord, I pray that we would begin to see you in all things. Lord, may it just not be about us and what we're looking for, but Father, give us a divine kingdom perspective. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you agree with me, can you say amen? So until next time, I pray that you remember all things are possible with God.